Manchester's Science and Industry Museum, 100 years of the BBC, is being celebrated with an exhibit featuring broadcast artefacts, plus a few more recent additions. This funky looking box was a prototype which was an early part of the BBC's research and development project for storing your data yourself. So the idea was that the device would keep track of what you were listening to and what you were watching, but that data was just yours unless you chose for it not to be. It was inspired by a new vision that Sir Tim Berners-Lee has for the web to rethink the ownership of our data. Back in 2018, he told us about what he calls a mid-course correction for the internet, an idea called solid. So instead, imagine a world where before you use an app, it says to you, oh, where do you want to store this data? All across the data spectrum, you have complete control over your private personal data. It's very exciting, uh, uh, exciting vision, I think, for those people who get an inkling of what it's going to be like. Right now, when we interact with companies over the internet, often without even thinking about it, we give them our data, lots of it. Every website, app or streaming platform gathers information on us. Our name and age, what we like to share, our files, photos, in fact, all of our online browsing habits. Platforms use this data to create recommendations, improve algorithms, or sometimes just for the purpose of selling it. But Tim Berners-Lee's idea turns this on its head, giving power back to the individual. With Solid, as users travel across the internet, all their data is stored in something called a pod. This is an individual's data bank in the cloud, which only they, or those they give permission to, can see. So instead of the data freely flowing to companies when they want to access it, they have to ask for the user's permission. If this is approved, they can look into the pod to view or add information. With pods, because you're in control, you can share what you've watched or listened to on one platform with the others, something the companies would never want you to be doing. But it means that you could get more personalised recommendations. And if you want to stop using a service, you can cut off access to your data. Or you could even more dramatically delete the pod, destroy all the data and remove all trace of anything you've ever done on the internet. Yes, it is a big endeavour, but it's not a ridiculously huge endeavour. Uh, what's exciting right now is just at the point when we should be uh, broadcasting this, uh, we now have also a startup in Rupt. Four years on, it's a reality, with BBC R&D working with Inrup to bring it to life. Charlie, you've invited me to a party, but this is no ordinary party. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Um, it's, it's, it's BBC together, it's a watch party, but the particular difference here is that your personal data is being protected in a new way. Watch parties allow friends to stream the same content at the same time, and they've exploded in the last few years. Something like a third of under 30s actually had a watch party in the last 12 months and kind of it's just really, really growing. So we've kind of built on the BBC's watch party and added the data pod element to it. As users log in, behind the scenes, the software creates a pod for each person. Can click play. And there we go. And when you stop watching, this BBC trial shows you what data's been collected. We couldn't do a watch party without storing some data about you. The difference here is we're storing that data away from us in your pod that you control. It's not just about entertainment. This is just one example of something you could do with this system. That's right, exactly. We've seen interest from healthcare providers where your health data is incredibly personal to you. You don't want anybody getting access to no, that. No, people are more obviously sensitive about that. Exactly. There's a project in Flanders um, uh, happening at the moment where some of your educational qualifications are being put into a pod. Solid is just one of many ideas aiming to help us own our data. Others, even allowing us to sell it, have failed to take off at scale. Maybe the incentives haven't been right. But that could change. BBC R&D and Tim Berners-Lee certainly think it might. And they have both been right before.